The season started with Newcastle's Saudi chief Yasu al Rumayan declaring the club was aiming to be no one. It ended as a trophy hunt with the tune entering a seventh decade year without domestic silverware. The harsh truth is, the Magpies look as far away as ever from being contenders. Belief in this relaunch is ebbing away. How long do they have to wait for success? Another 10 years. As Eddie Howe's squad headed to a club jolly reset in Dubai, the mood seemed as bleak as it has been for a long time. A year ago it felt like anything was possible after a near-perfect fourth-place finish. Now we have Howe. Saying there's no financial scope for a major overhaul this summer and a team on a losing streak, being smashed by second-gear Man City. Hogging 72% of possession. And debate over which star they will sell in the summer. Not much different to having Mike Ashley and Steve Bruce at the helm. Only with added Saudi human rights concerns. Souls sold for what? The end result is the same. It's the same old Newcastle. Winning the fan singing trophy, 8,000 were at City, but nothing else. Have patience, it's a long term project. Fans are assured. They last won the FA Cup in 1955. That's patience. Difficult questions, harsh, raw opinions. But realities that have to be faced. Newcastle have the wealthiest owners, spending widely on football at home, but are unable to rebuild because of profit and sustainability rules. They can't inflate transfer deals or sponsorships with related companies, breaks that didn't exist before Man City's Abu Dhabi takeover and spending. The Premier League and FA Cup need to revive Newcastle to stop their league becoming boring. When City v Newcastle is a tedious, predictable mismatch, football has a problem. So how, Newcastle and their fans are locked out of a swift route to the top. They have to sell to buy big, and their director of football Dan Ashworth remains on gardening leave bound for Manchester United. Why aren't the Saudis pumping more cash in through multiple sponsorship deals? A new training ground was promised, but it's gone quiet. St. James Park may be revamped not rebuilt. Perhaps the Saudi League, their World Cup bid and buying up other sports is more of a priority. And the tune is not the flagship asset many thought, and feared, it would be. How will try to keep? The season alive by insisting his 10th placed squad have to chase 7th or 8th to get into Europe next. Season. That would be creditable and some consolation. Reality is hitting home that trips to Milan, Dortmund and Paris in the Champions League this season. And Wembley last, could be the exception. On the pitch City had 16 shots to Newcastle's 2, and 11 corners to 2. Dominance. How squad looks out on its feet, beleaguered by constant injuries, with a tenacious energy and pressing of last season lost since December. They have two players of real quality in Bruno Guimaraes and Alexander Isaac, with Joe Linton also crucial to their winning style. An Anthony Gordon player of the season. Sven Botman has lost form recovering his injury, Sean Longstaff is struggling with form and managing an injury. Many players have run their race at Newcastle, but will still be there next season. Asked to give his verdict. On Newcastle's struggles Guardiola said, Liverpool and ourselves have done it, and Arsenal have joined us. I can't judge Newcastle. They took a big step and reached another level, but this season Thieve played a lot, and it's completely different. I'm sure Thiel take lessons because the potential is there. Last season was unbelievable. Join our new WhatsApp community privacy notice.